All right, take a look at some of these new features. So just like you were saying, to hear it in Intel, the continuum is extremely important to us. And what we've developed is this great new application connected framework for all of our applications and devices to go ahead and work seamlessly together and also have the same look and feel so that you're not uh, clumsily moving around depending on whatever device you're on. So let's go ahead and if you wouldn't mind just humoring me really quick, Paul, with a uh, quick picture. Look, uh, let's CEO-ish, all right, here we go. <laughs> And I just uh, snapped off a real quick burst of photos there because I'm a terrible photographer. So if I take 10 really quick pictures, maybe one will turn out okay. And uh, as I can see here, this is just a Android phone that I have in my hand. And with a quick little uh, point of my, uh, my application here, I'm able to bring up. And this is called Intel's Parent Share. And uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, Paul. So uh, just as far as I've now securely paired my device up to this centrally located uh, Acer all-in-one that I have here. And, oh, yeah, look at that. We're just going to go ahead and throw that right up on the screen. But we can also go ahead and do this with multiple devices as well. You guys might be familiar with this one. This is a, uh, I forget what they call this. Um, oh, yeah, the iPhone, right? Okay. Uh, so anyway, as I'm going to go ahead and uh, just pair, uh, I'm going to go ahead and securely pair it because we're all in the, uh, in the same session here. Oh, just fat fingered that guy really quick. Let me try one more time. Oh, there we go. And this is some Disneyland photos. So it's the same exact experience that I have across here. We're playing some video from this phone as well. But, uh, as, oops. Oh, sorry, Paul. I just got a little bit of an interruption here. Uh, looks like I just got an SMS no, from our second product, which is called this on your, on your PC. It seems kind of strange, right? But using uh, Intel's Teleport Extender, I've actually securely paired my phone uh, to this PC as well, so I can get all the notifications and all that good stuff. Uh, can you get Paul's autograph for me? Um, we'll work on that, David. Thank you very much. But as you can see here, all of my calls, notifications are coming up directly into a little application, so if I'm watching Netflix or getting some work done on PowerPoint, that sort of stuff, I don't have to uh, you know, be scrambling for my phone when it's just inconveniently out of reach. And these two features, both te Intel Teleport Extender as well as Intel Parent Share, are gonna be available from our OEM partners coming out this holiday season. Yep, pretty That's cool stuff, but very cool. I got one more thing to show you, and we'll move on to here. We wanna talk about kind of the next step on, on some new applications that we're gonna see next year. And this is what I have as far as the Raymond family wall. And uh, the gist of this here is a centrally located PC. As you can see all these nice decorations that I have here in front of this one. But it has a centrally located on a kitchen counter or in a little alcove, so we can use it as general computing. But when it comes up with the screensaver, it also works as a digital bulletin board, basically. So I have a couple of devices here, and the real gist of this, Paul, is now we want to take this outside. Now that we've securely paired all these devices, I can go ahead and take them out of the, uh, no matter where you're at, you're able to do some really cool stuff. So say my daughter is in the back riding around the car, she has an Android tablet like this. We'll do a little quick doodle. And she can throw it up on the digital dashboard there, just like she would be magneting something on, onto the refrigerator. So we see it show up right there. But also we're just not limited to that device as well. We can also share pictures as I have here. Uh, I have a nice little 10-inch uh, tablet. This happens to be a Medfield, Paul. So uh, this, this guy has to be brand new. We shared a nice little picture of Haystack Rock. Nice slim form factor, pretty sexy too. And uh, obviously this is running uh, Honeycomb, which is uh, Google's latest and greatest tablet operating system. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that one down. And of course I have here next is a nice little Toshiba Ultrabook. That's pretty thin and sexy, right? Pretty light too, not bad, but as I'm, uh, let's say I'm preparing at the airport and uh, I'm just about to head off, but I want to go ahead and update the wall with a couple of messages for the family. So as I can see here, I wanted to make sure that they know I can go ahead and update the list of what my last shopping trip before I just sent out. So we'll go ahead and update those items there. But the kids always want donuts. So we'll go ahead and just really quickly send them a coupon so mom can take the Krispy Kreme. Send that up to the wall, and then of course we can go ahead and send some messages. Okay, make sure to do the dishes, kids. We don't actually have the technology to make them do the dishes, but we can go ahead and send those notifications along. 
But as you can see here, this is kind of the next step on the evolution we want to bring. All of these devices working together. Seamlessly, from multiple vendors. That's exactly, truly creating a myriad of experiences and usage models. And you developers are really going to be the ones that make it happen. We can't wait to see what you guys are going to be able to come up with using all this great connected application framework. So thank you very much, Paul. Thanks, Craig.